Hi teachers, I am excited to tell you about this year's Books for Keeps. It will happen on May 16th and 17th, and it is returning to the experience we had before, which is students coming to the library with bags, seeing tables filled with books, and getting to choose 12 free books to take home for summer reading. So I wanna share with you a few things that you need to know to get ready for Books for Keeps. One is just to know that this is a local organization that started very small and has grown its way into a nonprofit that serves all of the elementary schools in Clark County. And their big goal is to help stop summer slide by providing books to students to read over the summer. You will be receiving a stack of bags and tags for your classroom. Your job is to count those bags and make sure that you have enough to write student names on each of the tags and attach them to the bags and bring those bags with you at your scheduled time. It is very important to be on time for your session. We have a very tight schedule across two days. And if you miss a part of your time, we cannot schedule you at a different time during the day. So if you're late, you just miss those minutes in your session, unfortunately. So be on time and we will do our best to help your students um, get all of the books they need in the time that you have. It is also really important to encourage self-selection. Books for Keeps um, really runs on the idea that kids will read more if they're reading things that they wanna read, which is something that we know is just um, good practice anyway. But it is a time to kind of take a step back from what you know as a teacher about reading levels and allow kids to just pick what they want to read for fun during the summer, whether it's something that's below their level or maybe something that's above their level that maybe they'll read with someone at home. It's really important to also help encourage family members that may be there to volunteer uh, to also give their student that space to choose the book that they want to get. Books for Keeps cannot be withheld as a punishment, um, so every student should have 12 books. Um, so make sure that all students attend unless they are absent. If they miss their time because they're at home, you can choose the 12 books for them, or you can have a friend choose books, someone who knows them and knows the kinds of things that they might like to read. We know that kids read at different reading levels, so Books for Keeps will have a variety of reading levels of books at each session, but you may have a kid that's reading way above grade level and they just don't find the books that they want at your session. You can ask a Books for Keeps uh, worker or, uh, or volunteer to um, have a slip of paper to send the student back at a later time to choose the extra books that they didn't get. Uh, this is not something we want to advertise ties to kids because we'll have kids just kind of trying to hold back because they they just want to see what's in the next se se session. So please don't tell this to your kids. Just do it quietly if a kid needs to come back later. And it will be your responsibility to make sure that they come back at the scheduled time that we tell you. Another way that you can help is by having your class make thank you notes to give for Books for Keeps. Um, I can deliver those to them later, or you can give them to them while they're here at school if you make them on the day of your um, collection. There's lots more information about Books for Keeps on their website, as well as many of the research um, articles that they have looked at um, to build this type of program. So I hope that you're excited about Books for Keeps. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and ask. Um, and I am excited to see what students choose for Books for Keeps this year.